Yo, what's up, guys? Thrill here on Thrill Game Vlogs here to bring you an unboxing. Wait, you know what? I'm just moving out of the frame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the second day of doing an unboxing because we all know what came out today, right? Yeah, actually, three things came out today. And I'm unboxing all three, and you can't even see my eyes because of this fucking light. I don't know if Pokemon's out yet, but if it isn't, fuck it. And if it is, fuck it. Because I'm probably going to be on this bitch all night. But the first time I'm unboxing isn't even that. Um, I will say all three of these are video game related. Well, the how many are actually video games we're about to see. First one is. The first one is. And this is, this is what we've been waiting for all day, baby. Castlevania. <laughs> uh, Castlevania Mirror of Fate. Uh, I believe this actually has the original... Symphony of the Night cast, I believe. Um, I think, yeah, I played the demo of this a few days ago, and I enjoyed it. Mind you, I pre-ordered this, like, back in January. And this is a free game, because Crunchyroll gave me that Amazon gift card in December, and I used it to pre-order this, and one other thing, which you've already know. If you've, you, I've, I've told the story, like, maybe three or four times, so, uh, this is a thank you from Crunchyroll. This is a... Technically, I'm just, I'm just assuming this is, there, is the is the present they got me. So thank you, Crunchyroll, for paying for a game uh, that I can now play at my leisure because you guys are awesome. Uh, uh, actually, this is pretty bare bones in a sense. So, okay, these are codes. So obviously, I can't let you see these. Oh wow, there's no manual for this game, or is that just okay? Just out of curiosity, is there no manual for Castlevania, or did or apparently when I bought it, I got the version with no manual? Because I think that's what happened, and if that is the case, that is bullshit. If it didn't, if it just didn't come with a manual, I'm even more confused because that makes even less sense. Uh, uh, I bought this from Amazon itself. I didn't even I didn't go through a third party seller. There's no manual in... What the fuck? I don't even know. That's just weird. So, because the other two things are... It's like a Konami code. Um, he has Konami code and then like... The Nintendo Club shit. Which I'm not going to show you because they're both codes that I want to use. So, fuck that. But, yeah. I was wondering why this thing felt so light. It's because the only thing that's in here is a fucking game. Like, there's no manual, which... I don't know what's up with that, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at other unboxings because I just got home from uh, my midterms, which is why I haven't touched any of these things yet. I got the shit around three. I'm also eating DiGiorno's pizza. Um, I haven't really played a Castlevania game before, so I'm looking forward to this. This doesn't look like you can kind of, and this has the same RPG elements as um, Symphony of the Night. I've seen a lot of Let's Plays and shit. So, I was intrigued, you know, I mean, if I'm trying out the Fire Emblem series, why not try out the Castlevania series? Even though people call this the Metroidvania, because traditional Castlevania is just going left to right, whipping shit. Whereas this one, you're going every goddamn way, leveling up, grabbing weapons to do other shit, so, whatever. Um, I have no idea why the fuck there's no manual, even though I don't, no one really gives a shit about the manual, and I have the case in the game. So I'm not really ticked, but I am confused. But fuck it, doesn't matter. Next thing, Record Ralph came out on Blu-ray the motherfucking today. And I've been wanting, I've I, I fucking pre-ordered this ever since I saw the movie. I love the movie. So I was like, fuck this, we're getting this. Uh, I didn't get like, I, I don't think Record Ralph had a collector's edition. If it did, I didn't get it. This is just a two-disc uh, combo pack, which has the blu-ray and the dvd on it and then obviously it has this little case uh... plus a disney intermission behind the scenes deleted scenes and more i'm actually looking forward to the deleted scenes because the deleted scenes could be pretty ridiculous so that's I, I suggest any video gamer go watch this movie this is a good movie i enjoyed the hell out of this i'm a little mad it didn't win uh... best animated feature in the oscars which i don't watch the oscars but i heard it didn't win i heard brave one which I feel like it was on some feminist shit, but then again, I haven't seen Brave, so I don't know how good Brave is. 
I'm probably not gonna like it more than this though because I'm a fucking video game fan. This, this like these. This movie was geared towards my my demographic, gamers. So fuck. Either that or gamers with childish hearts. I don't fucking know. Nintendo fans, yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Um, I love the fact that like they have, like it's like Sonic, Eggman, Bison, uh, Zangief, Qbert, the bloopers from Pac-Man, and there's a rhino in here, and I should know who the rhino is, and I don't. I don't recognize the rhino or the snake on here, and I apologize, but I don't. Oh, it does as a collector's edition. I don't. Why would this be considered a collector's edition, though? It's not. Yeah, it only has the Blu-ray and the DVD in it. Why? What the hell is this? Oh no! No, 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 no! They didn't do this. Okay, first off, DVD and Blu-ray. Pretty simple disc. I kind of wish it had like Sonic or Wreck It Ralph or Fix It Felix on here. I don't know. I just feel like there should have been something on the on the disc themselves. But, um, from the maker of Cars, Planes, because Cars was such a good fucking movie, and it had the best sequel of all time in all of Disney. No, it was actually really, really shitty. Oh, it's like, it's oh, okay, the advertisements. Uh, the video game, the game fly stuff, shit that no one cares about. Uh, what is this? Toys. The fucking dog movies, Mulan. Actually, I might get the Mulan collector's edition they have, and they're doing one with the Little Mermaid too. So, I actually do like Mulan a lot. I don't really care for the Little Mermaid though. And then just a whole bunch of bullshit, right? Yep, just a whole bunch of bullshit. So, yeah, I got Wreck It Ralph. I'm in, probably I'm not gonna watch this tonight because of this last thing we're gonna unbox, which is the thing most of you were expecting me to have today, and for me to talk about first. But fuck it, I like doing things out of order, so fuck you. I'm also going to take another bite of this pizza. And I'm going to eat this other one. True, you're such a fast. <laughs> Anyways, last thing. And the most obvious thing. Now that you're booting Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. I skipped generations, so I'm kind of off my Naruto game, so this is going to make me get back into my Naruto game. Um, some testing they're going to put Ultimate Ninja 4 on fucking PlayStation 4, which is going to annoy the shit out of me. Because I want to buy a console for one game. Especially not a fighting game, that's just ridiculous. It's like buying a Wii U for Brawl. Never mind. <laughs> Well, at least that's a Nintendo franchise. Never mind. I mean, a, there, there's a difference, goddammit. <laughs> Not a huge one, but there's a difference. See, I hate this shit. I hate it when you try to pull it off the side and there's going to be paper stuck on this bitch anyway. Because of the way this thing is wrapped. So it just sticks on the side. Look at that. It's retarded. I'm not even going to get that off all the way. Nope. Nope. That's so stupid. I don't know why they wrap their fucking games like this. What the hell is that? Oh. That's me scratching off the plastic of the game case. Not Jotaro. Alright, so here's the case in all its glory. Now it's on the front like he should be. The Bijus and the Goku DLC over here. Sasuke. Pretty much the gay side with fucking... What is that? Is that, uh, Kabuto? Yep, Kabuto, Sasuke, and Madara. The gayest motherfuckers in the series, and I don't, and I don't mean that in a homosexual mean. I mean gay as an insult. Like they're just, I don't like these fucking characters. <laughs> and then uh, the back, um, Biju Naruto, because he's a beast. I'm, and uh, because I'm obviously a Shonen Jump member, and a uh, oh, the card was on the card. I think they have a lot of cards. I don't know what the cards are for. Do anyone does anyone play the fucking Naruto Dragon Guard game? Which I thought was a bunch of advertisement bullshit to begin with. Um, there's Naruto and Goku. I feel like Goku should have been like a DLC character, but he would have been severely overpowered. Was that? How, I would like to see Kishimoto draw Goku as a ninja, actually. And then this is the Goku costume shit, which has the code on the back. Does it? Yeah, it does. So I'm just going to show the front. 
Yeah. And then we had the manual. Oh, at least this game came with a fucking manual. And it's a thin ass manual because it's Naruto and you really don't need it. But it looks nice in its own right. I'm trying to see here. Use the codes on the card game to unlock video game special features. Like what? Wait, is this the same code for the Goku costume? No. So what? Oh, that's why you collect the cards. You collect the cards because you can unlock special features in the game, but how do you put it in there? Is there going to be a portion in the game that gives me the advantage? I might I probably won't upload this video until I do it because I probably give away my code and I want to put my shit in first. So there's the manual. Uh, and yeah, that, the back explains that you're supposed to take the... That's why you want to collect the cards. Ah, you're a clever bastard, Cyber Connect 2. You fucking mixed the trading card game with the video game and was like, hey, look, if you get the cards, you can do shit in the game because you have the cards. I'm like, I I've already grown out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon phase. Why, why do you keep doing this shit to me? I have, I have enough addictive collector's problems already. I don't need this shit, all right? But fuck it. Uh, I'm going to go in. Jorge, your challenge is, is we're going to go in, nigga. We're going to fight. I'm going to beat your ass with Rock Lee. That's just... That's, that's a fact of the matter. We're going to go in, Jorge. We're going to go in, Matt. Jay, you better have this fucking game. Beat up. War is on. Rodney, you better get this game. I know you I know you said in the comment you're getting it for your brother. I want you to get this game. We need to go in, son. We need to have an Anime Real Talk TV battle just for the fuck of it. Also, for those who want to know, I only got this shit for $11. New game for $11. Once again, thank you, Crunchyroll. Uh, that is it. That is my video game haul and whatnot. Even though only one of the things wasn't a video game, but damn it, it was video game related, so it counts. Um, who else do I need to challenge? I think those are the main people. I don't know who, anyone else who's getting this game that we need to fight. But if, if I miss you, we will fight. Also, my PSN is pretty much full because everyone kept spamming me, so I'm gonna start deleting people. So if you haven't been on for like like six or seven months I'm just removing you from my friends list actually if it's been like three months or older I'm removing you from my friends list most of you guys have been on longer than uh, recently anyway so it's just a few people so I have a few spots on my PSN and if I know you I'm more likely to put you on there I'm pretty sure I have beat up on there already but that's besides the point anyways vlogs again from your boy Terrell thoughts and comments in the comment section below is Castlevania not supposed to have a man well record route for the win and Naruto I'm about to go in so P.E. So. Awesome, buddy. Pizza. So, pizza, pizza, easel. Oh, fuck it.